Hey everyone, Aaron from Technical Care here with my review of the Kyocera Torque for the Sprint Network. This is a $99 solid mid-range phone that shows that you don't need to necessarily be stylish to get the best endurance out of your phone. Now, letting people know up front that this is not a high-end device, um, you can kind of see that it's pretty bulky. It's 14 millimeters thick. Um, so it's not going to win any beauty contest, but that's not the point. It's for people who are on the Sprint Network who um, appreciate the direct connect capability, which is what this yellow button is for. And we'll just kind of go through and talk about it. So as you can see, you have um, a very hard plastic exterior. And that's, you know, really where this kind of durable part really starts. You have a four inch uh, WVGA screen for 80 by 800. Um, you have a VGA front facing camera right there, Kyocera logo and notification light. Um, at the bottom you have three physical buttons, back, home, and menu. You have two metal speaker grills right here which are loud and I can't stress that enough that they are loud. On the left side you have your volume rocker and you have your direct connect button for people who want to use this um, walkie-talkie-esque capabilities as it were. On the top left right here you have your speakerphone button, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right here and that's covered up waterproof capabilities and then you have your sleep wake power button right there. On the right side you have a physical camera shutter button which I applaud which I wish more phones had. On the bottom you have a microphone in your micro USB charging port and that's also kept safe by this little flap right here. On the back you have a 5 megapixel camera with an LED flash and you have this kind of textured grippy material right here which makes it really good in hand and you have this kind of metal key right here which upon twisting allows you to actually take off the battery cover. You can see that there is a red ring right here that's supposed to seal the battery from any water. So on the back you have your 25 milliamp hour battery which is removable and I will take this out which means I'll have to take, turn the phone back on again. But you can see your SIM card slot and your micro SD card slot right there for expendable storage. And that's pretty much it and it, you know, it fits right back in after you snap it and you can just kind of turn the ring and you are good to go. So let's go ahead and turn this back on. Uh, so this hasn't, been, this hasn't been a bad device to use. Um, the thing that kind of gets it to, for me is uh, the network. This is an LTE phone so if you live in a Sprint capable uh, LTE network then you'll be good to go, but once again, at this point in time, Las Vegas does not have access to Sprint's LTE speed, so I'm stuck using Sprint's 3G, which, while it's passable because it's better than no G, um, it really is just a really sad experience, especially if you're used to coming from other networks with HSPA Plus or LTE, so your mileage may vary, but I was stuck on Sprint's 3G, and uh, it just wasn't that fast. It was just a really annoying experience, but let's get into the software. So this runs a very lightly skinned version of Android 4.0.4 Ice Cream Sandwich. Whether a Jelly Bean update is coming, I have no idea, but this phone may not get Jelly Bean. Um, from the lock screen, you have the ability to flick to unlock, and you have the option to launch the camera. Once you've unlocked the device, you have standard one, two, three, four, five, five home screens. And as you can, as you can see in the picture, it's very lightly skinned. It's, it's ice cream sandwich like you know and love. There are a few things that have been added to, you know, in regards to the durability to maximize battery life. One of which is the eco mode, which is actually turned down, turned on here in the notification bar. And while at that focus, when it gets to a certain battery percentage, like in this particular case, I have it set to 20, it'll automatically um, turn down the brightness, may change wallpaper, turn off vibration. So you have that working for you. You also have another setting in here, which is called, where is it? Maximizer, I believe, if I can find it. Okay, so while I'm looking for that, you have Sprint ID, portable Wi-Fi hotspot, um, Qualcomm Equalizer, I think that's what that's called. 
uh, Sprint Zone, Sprint TV and Movie, so a whole bunch of Sprint stuff, Sprint Voicemail, uh, Mobile Sync, Outlook, or Lookout rather, is pre-installed. You have an LED flashlight, um, you know, flashlight capabilities, you have that as well. And you have the uh, Direct Connect option here, which I have no Direct Connect people to talk to. And speaking of which, let me just turn this off. Uh, hitting this once will turn on the phone, and hitting it again will automatically take you to the Direct Connect's uh, history list. And on that note, this I hit this button so often during my usage, which was like super annoying. Um, but you know, that's just kind of a, a side effect of having this huge hittable button on the side of your phone. Can't find what I'm looking for. I think it's in the options, so I'll go in here. Yeah, uh, maximizer. Based on your personal uses of the application, it will limit background data connection. This will ultimately help conserve battery power with minimal impact to the usability of your phone. So I had that turned on. And honestly, I got through the day uh, with the Echo. Um, medium to heavy usage, I got through the day. I had no issues getting through the day uh, with this phone at all. Um, like I said, you have a WVGA screen, so it's not high resolution by any means, but I think one of the issues that I had with this phone is I feel like the touch sensibility isn't as good as it can be, and the viewing angles on this phone, especially out in direct sunlight, are just very poor. I don't know if that's because of the panel or because of the waterproofing tech, but just wasn't that good in, in my personal usage. Yeah, I can see it right now under really good lighting conditions, but out in direct sunlight, uh, viewing angles are pretty poor. And on that note, it's time for the water because this phone is waterproof, shockproof, dustproof. It's made for the wilderness. It's military certified. So you can dunk this phone in water and uh, just because I'm kind of interested, let's actually load up some music. Let's see if I can go ahead and do this really fast. Assuming I have music on here. Okay. One song. So I just want to load it up and play it through the water. So it's playing. I'm going to submerge the handset. The music is still playing, the phone hasn't exploded or died or anything, it's still working as expected. And I could just pull it out of the water. Touch sensitivity is kinda gone because the screen's wet. But as you can see, it's really loud. The speakers on this thing are really loud. It uses this um, sound, uh, the sound density technology would actually puts the music or the sound out of the phone and like into your ear. It's kind of like, it's really weird. It's really interesting technology that Kyocera is using here and I kind of applaud them for it. Um, some uh, final words is that um, this phone has a 5 megapixel camera. It took pretty decent shots. You can see uh, some samples of that up on Technoco where the review will be published uh, while you're watching this video. Um, so overall, uh, oh, and I let me just quickly go through this. Uh, internals include a 1.2 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 processor, 1 gigabyte of RAM. You have 4 gigabytes of internal storage expandable with micro SD card. Um, there are contacts for NFC, but I don't see any options to enable it in the setting. So um, that's pretty much that. So pretty much for $99 on Sprint, you get a very solid and rugged phone running pretty decent specs for the price. So if you're on Sprint and you're looking for something that is nearly indestructible, indestructible, then I recommend the Kyocera Torque. But thank you for watching this. This was Aaron from Technico. Uh, stay tuned for other reviews. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.